Okay, geometry guys, this is 3.3, .3, proving triangles congruent. Remember, this whole unit has been triangle-focused. So everything and anything having to do with triangles is going to be what we're talking about because triangles are the basis for every other shape. So now, proving triangles are congruent. We're looking at two or more triangles trying to show that they are congruent. There's a couple things we need to be aware of. One is what's called a postulate. Postulate and theorem are a little bit different things. A postulate basically is something that we accept without proof. Okay, so we're just assuming that it's true, but technically we cannot prove it's true. A theorem is something that can be proven. All right, it can be tr proven by the undefined terms. That's point, line, and plane. By definition, such as of what is a vertical angle and postulates, which is what we have up above. So those are that's the big difference between a postulate and a theorem. So side, side, side congruence. Three sides of one triangle are congruent to three sides of a second triangle, then the triangles are congruent. That's pretty straightforward. Basically, if three sides match up, boom, 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 boom. All sides match up, the two triangles are congruent. So the way I want to say that is if AB is congruent to um, DE, and I'm going to say if BC is congruent to EF, and then last but not least, we have AC is going to be congruent to DF. Now you have to, once again, a reminder from last section, you have to be very, very picky about what that looks looks like. All right, so make sure that they match up. So if I say triangle A, B, C, triangle A, B, C has got to match up to triangle D, E, F. Remember, this is my congruence statement. So when they ask you for what is, what is a congruence statement, this is it. It's something congruent to something else. The next one, side, angle, side. Notice how that's said, side, angle, side. The angle is in between the two sides. So if I'm looking at two triangles and I see I've got one side and one side, second side, second side, and the angle in between, the angle in between, it has got to be the angle formed by the two sides that are congruent. All right, if you look at the definition, two sides and the included angle and the included angle. Two sides and the included angle of a triangle are congruent to two sides and the included angle of a second triangle. Then the triangles are congruent. So it's got to be the included angle. So I would say angle of side AB is congruent to side DE. Angle B would be congruent to angle E. And angle or side BC is congruent to side EF. The included angle, the included angle, the included angle. I'm not talking about one down here, one down here. I'm talking about the one that is created by the two sides. That is something that a lot of kids like to screw up. Make sure you do not. So if I go ABC, that's going to be DEF. The next one, flip it around, angle, side, angle. This time, instead of the included side or included angle, now I have an included side. So I've got two angles. And the side in between those two angles. All right, so it's going to be two angles and the included side and two angles and the included side of another triangle. The included side. All right, so if I've got angle B and angle B matches up with angle E and I've got side AB is congruent to side DE and I've got angle A congruent to angle D, that is enough to say, yeah, those two triangles are congruent. Basically because there's no other triangle 
that I could draw with this situation that would be different. All right, okay, move it around, twist it around, flip it around, but it's still going to be basically the same triangle. So ABC is going to be congruent to DEF. Not This one's a little bit different. All right, notice this one we had back here. Angle, side, angle, included side. Angle, angle, side is not the included side. Angle, angle, side is going to be what I call the next side. So if you follow the angles around, angle, angle, next side. Angle, angle, next side. All right, do they follow in order? All right, but do they follow in order? Okay, here's the number one way can, kids confuse this. I'll have these two situations. And if I have the same thing to where I have this angle congruent, this angle congruent, but this side, that is not going to be a congruent triangle. All right, so we'll call this one X, Y, Z. A, B, C, and D, E, F, yeah, those two are congruent. Um, X, Y, Z is not because I've got the wrong side. This side is touching that angle. This side is not. This side is only touching that angle. Likewise here, it's touching this angle, not this angle. So you got to be very, very picky about which side they're talking about because it's really easy to get confused. So the way that matches up is A is con congruent to D, B is going to be congruent to E, and then B, C is going to be congruent to E, F. That is what you're talking about. So again, A, B, C. D, E, F, make sure in your congruence statements you're matching up angle to angle or edge to edge, vertice to vertice. Make sure you're doing it right. So we have four ways, side, 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 angle included, side included, next side. So take a look at number letter A, which one fits the best? Well, do I know anything about angles? Absolutely not. They tell me nothing about the angles, which eliminates all three of these. Do I have enough to tell me it's side, side, side? Yes, side, side, side. So do a little process of elimination. Do they tell you anything about sides? Do they tell you anything about angles? So here, I've got two sides that are congruent. I can also say this is congruent because it's part of both triangles. But I can't say anything else, okay? And what we call that, when we call that is when you're part of two triangles, Technically, you're two different sides, but you're still the same segment, and we call that reflexive. We'll talk about that in, in another section, but we have two sides that are congruent, and we know nothing about any of the angles, so we can't do anything else. There's no triangle congruence. There's not enough to tell me, yeah, those two triangles are congruent. Letter C, do I have a side side angle I have side side angle I have side side angle there is no side side angle up here okay there is no side side angle or if you flip it around yeah there is there is none there is no angle side side form all right that one doesn't exist so no this does not tell you why all right no that is not enough information Letter D, KM bisects JML. Remember, bisects means cut in half. So that means that this angle and this angle are going to be congruent. Now remember what I said before. This side is part of both triangles. So I've got angle, angle, and the next side, angle, angle, and the next side. So that's going to be yes by angle, angle, side. So take a look, BCD is congruent to WXY. So can we do a little problem solving here? So BC is this one, XW is this one. Those two match up. So 2X plus five equals 11. So now let's figure out the value of X here. Or another way I could do it is B matches up with W. Um, so this one matches up here. 
Okay, so any of those would work. So 2x plus 5 equals 11. So 2x minus 5 equals 6. x equals 3. So just by this, is this enough to tell me anything? Well, this is bisected. This is a right angle, so this is a right angle. And this is part of both triangles, so it's going to be congruent to itself. So I'm going to say yes by side angle side. Is this one enough? Well, once again, this is part of both triangles. All right, it's what's called congruent to itself, so it's what's called reflexive. So I've got side, 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 yes, by side, side, side. Take a look at this one. Once again, this side is this side shares both triangles. So I've got angle, angle, side, angle, angle, side. Yeah, angle, angle, side would work here. Sorry, this one's a little bit fuzzy. I've got one angle and one side. That's not enough. I got to know more than that. This one. I've got this side, these two sides, and this angle. That's not enough. Two sides and an angle is not enough unless it is the angle in between. So this angle is not the right angle. If I had this angle and this angle, yeah, I could say those two are, are congruent. But I don't. That's not what I have. So take a look here. I've got angle, 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 angle. And plus, these two are vertical, so they're congruent to each other. But there is no A, 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 is there? So no, that's not going to work. What about this one? Yes, by angle, side, angle. This one, yes, by side. Nope, wait, sorry. Misspoke. These two are congruent to each other. These two are congruent to each other. But it never says that these two are congruent. Nothing tells us that, so we can't assume it. So this is going to be no. That's all I got. Look through those one more time and see if you got any questions.